because this is November 3rd. A lot yeah, of talk okay. out of D.C., a lot of cockiness, a lot of red wave hype, a lot of then the political industrial complex reacting to the red wave hype, getting juiced again. Here's what you said. I'm not worried that this is going to happen because they're not going to be in charge. They're not going to win next Tuesday. And I know I, I, it seems like I have a uh, take a minority position on this. No, actually, we're not going to lose. There's more of us than there are of them. That was you exactly one week ago. And I would add to, to your analysis for your reaction tonight, when you count up the votes, and there are structural reasons we've explored why the public does not always rule, from the way the Senate is organized to the way the filibuster is abused. But if we are counting where the country is at, uh, people preferred the alternative to Trump in 16 and in 18 and in 20 uh, and in many, many places, despite inflation, uh, in 22, although, as, as, as Steve cautioned, we will count all the votes and see what the final call is in the House. Uh, your response to yourself um, and that long-term trend. Yeah, it, when you say despite inflation, it, there's a false equivalency there that people who are upset, and rightly so, at the cost of gas, the cost of milk, mm. everything else, um, that that somehow equated with... Um, a woman's human rights being dispensed with. Hmm. And that and that when they went to the polls, they were going to go, hmm, price of gas, my uh, my rights as a woman or uh, for anybody who cares about women, that they were made second class citizens by the Supreme Court back in June. And I th and they're not equivalent. And so, yes, nobody likes inflation. Nobody likes whatever. But in terms of that, but it but we really don't like. Uh, saying to a, an entire gender, the federal government will decide what you will do with your reproductive organs. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't fly with the vast majority of Americans, yeah. Republican, Democrat, whatever. It's seismic, and, and you hit that. I'm going to keep you here. I'm not taking your time away. But yeah, here's some of the no, no. victorious Democrats hitting that issue and others. The Democrat. I never expected that we were going to turn these red counties blue. You all made calls. You knocked on doors. MAGA war on a woman's body. You will. You will never get an inch of Illinois. Opportunity won. A woman's right to choose won. Tonight is a night to celebrate and a night to remember. Michael. The day, June 24th that the conservative, majority, Catholic conservative court decided to re issue a religious edict that the American public was to follow the rules of the bishops of the Catholic Church. In other countries, we have a name for that. When the, when the top religious hmm. leaders... Theocracy? Ex ex yes. Uh, that, we ex that you are to follow... The rules of the religion, if you're a citizen of a democracy, sorry, yeah. it doesn't compute. And so I knew that night when I went to bed on Supreme Court night, June 24th, I just, boy, I just relaxed. I thought, oh, my God, well, there goes the red wave. There go You've yeah. told the majority gender, not a small clique or not a small, you know, section of society. Yeah. You've told the majority gender that we're going to have an apartheid situation here where the majority is going to be told by the minority how you're going to live your life. And that doesn't fly right. if you're Which a red-blooded American. I hesitate, to make I, knew sweeping, that that's I hesitate to make sweeping allegorical comparisons on live TV, Michael. You know that can go either way. Um, but if yes. you had a religious court say, here's the new law, uh, men and only men, a gender-based yes. rule, cannot have premarital sex. No premarital Correct. sex because of religion. And we're right. going to enforce it criminally. And you see what's going to happen, right? I mean, we, there's a gender dynamic that goes to the sexism and misogyny, which are these issues, uh, to say nothing of how many justices said they wouldn't do this when they testified to the Senate. Now Hey, I'm Ari Melber. Thanks for watching The Beat. I wanted to let you know I'm writing a forward to the January 6th Committee's full report which is coming out soon from Harper Collins. You can go pre-order the book right now, and it'll come to you first when the report comes out, in the fall or whenever the government releases it. Just search Melbourne Jan 6 
on Amazon or your favorite independent book site and click pre-order. You'll be the first to get both the report and my new piece on the coup conspiracy. You can also go to melbourbook.com and order it there.